okay guys so i completely forgot that i said i was going to vlog today um and i just remembered because my um i should really put my seatbelt on but i'm just about at the post office i'm not gonna put it on so don't judge me um keisha if you're watching i don't want to hear it in the comments but anyway um because i just got a a notification that my mount is arriving today because remember i had a mount and then it broke and i ordered a new one um a few days ago from amazon and so it's supposed to be here today and so when i just got a notification that it's arriving i was like oh duh i said i was gonna vlog today so right now i'm just on the way to the post office really quick to um ship out and order and then me and my mom and my sister are going to the beach we have a beach day today and yeah that's pretty much all we're doing so i'm gonna be vlogging while doing that so i'm just about at the po post office i'm like maybe two three minutes away so i'm gonna go in drop that package off and get my receipt because i always get my receipt when i drop off a um uh a order that i'm shipping out and then i'm gonna i gotta go and get a bag of ice and then by the time i get back home i'm gonna walk tank and then it should be time for us to hit the road. The beach that we're going to, it's like two hours away. I think it's called Lido Key or Lido Key or something like that. But my sister suggested it because like three weeks ago, I was like, we, could, we need to have a beach day because my mom has never been to the beach. We need to have a beach day. And so uh, she was like, well, find the beach, find the beach. And I have been to Daytona several times and I've been to, um, Clearwater, Clearwater is a beautiful beach, but I wanted to go somewhere that we never been, and she's my mom has never been to a beach at all. So my sister suggested Lido Beach or Lido Beach. I gotta figure, uh, look up how to pronounce it, and then I'll start pronouncing it. All right, y'all. So this is the best I can do right now because I don't want to keep holding my phone and get myself pulled over or whatever. But it's okay. I just wanted to really just talk to you guys. So. Um, I just wanted to share with y'all, like yesterday, I feel like I had a really good day. Like as far as sales, I made, it was like $170. No, 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 no. I can't, I gotta do math. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I can't really do math, but <laughs> it was, let's just say. It was, it was like $200 because I'm trying to do the math in my head and I feel like it was close to that. But anyway, I'm saying I, I wanted to share that and I was so happy that with that yesterday because sometimes I'm consistent with sharing on all of my social media platforms and, and posting and stuff like that and other times I'm not. Like some days I go all day without posting anything because it gets exhausting sometimes and sometimes it's just like, you need to take a step back but like yesterday i posted a lot um and if you follow me on any of my social media basically on facebook and um instagram i posted a whole lot yesterday which was friday and i just was posting like i think i posted maybe like maybe like seven eight times on facebook which is a lot for me because usually on a good day, I only post maybe two or three times, but I think I'm going to keep doing that. And a lot of times the reason why I don't post so much because I feel like maybe sometimes it's like, you know how when something is like shoved down your throat, shoved down your throat, and you get sick of seeing it. And so that's why a lot of times I don't post a lot, but um, I wanna find like a happy medium. So maybe if I post like, what? seven eight times a day i don't think that's a lot so but yeah i just had i'm so happy with how yesterday turned out because like i work in orlando which is like an hour and something away from where i live um and so i am a part of this uh i think it's called orlando business it's a group on facebook and so i just was constantly posting on there yesterday and then so a lot of times the way it works is when people a lot of people post in in that group that are looking for certain items so whenever i'm on there and i see someone post who has lashes or who has this or who has something that i sell i'll comment on the post and you don't you know i'm one of 200 comments so every time it's not i'm not gonna stand out so all i did was 
um, a girl posted she was looking for nice fluffy lashes so I posted a few of my fluffy lashes that I have and I just commented hey I have several styles you can see them all and I left the link to my website and I'm available for delivery after 4 30 because that's what that's what time I get off from work and so I just posted that like I've done numerous times and most of the time like just and I'm not saying like I don't know it's because, like I said, I'm one of 200 comments because a lot of people sell lashes. A lot of people, and that's a popular thing a lot of people are looking for. And so a lot of people are going to post on your comments. And you know yourself, like if you post something and a lot of people comment, you're not going to go through necessarily and read all the comments. Especially if you get to one and you like their product, you're going to stop basically stop reading the comments. And so I feel a little tickle in my throat. I don't like that especially not in the the midst of corona but anyway i really hate this angle i'm sorry y'all <laughs> but yeah i just want to share that with you guys if you sell anything or if you do anything uh never feel any type of way about promoting yourself if somebody doesn't like seeing your content they can easily unfollow you or unfriend you so yeah i just wanted to share that with y'all but i think i stopped in the middle of a thought yeah so anyway i posted on the on the on the girl's comment i commented on the girl's post rather should i say and so you know not thinking nothing i just posted my few pictures and my little comment and then went on about my work day and so then i get a notification and the girl's like oh i love these and um when when are you are you able to meet up or something like that and so then I replied back to her. So I was, oh yeah, after 4 30, I can deliver or meet you anywhere. I'm in downtown Orlando. And so she was like, okay, good. Um, and then she said, I just inbox you. So then, so then she inboxed me and I met up with her and she had already picked out her pair of lashes, but then she was on FaceTime with uh two of her friends and then she showed them her lashes and they were like, Oh, I like those. And so then she picked out them a couple pairs of lashes and the girl that was on the phone her friends that was on the phone all right all right white people oh that was so racist i'm sorry but <laughs> right here in the town where i'm from there's like a whole bunch of people holding up I, i'm gonna come back this way and i'm gonna show y'all but there's a whole bunch of people on one side holding up trump signs uh for trump and then on the other side, they're and they're holding up Biden Harris signs, and there's more Biden Harris people out here, and all of the people that are out there, are white people. Now everybody is here to get freaking ice. This don't make no sense. And he been there. Since I was over at the red light, he needs to hurry the fuck up. Oh, and also that little tickle that was in my throat, it went away. I don't know what it was, but I did not like the way it felt. Um, since this coronavirus stuff is out, it had, I don't know about y'all, but it has me like super paranoid. I don't like feeling like, you know how that feeling when you think you're getting sick? Oh my God. That's the feeling that I just had when I was on camera with y'all. And I did not like that at all. It's And it's like... Nobody likes it in general, but before this um, coronavirus stuff came out, you didn't really think about it like that. You, you know, it's just like, okay, I might be getting sick. Let me try to remember to take some medicine. But, oh, when I get home, you better believe I'm taking medicine. It just makes you look at things differently. And it's like our lives will never be the same, y'all. Never. So I'm next in line to get my eyes. So I'm just waiting until this couple that's in front of me gets their eyes, and then I will get mine. And, yeah. I can't I hate when I lose my train of thought, but I completely lost my train of thought. And I hope I don't have a nip slip today at the beach. I'm gonna be mad if I do y'all. I'm gonna be mad, man. This is where y'all are from. You just put in two dollars and you get a twenty pound bag of ice. <laughs> Where's my ice? Oh, it says bending ice. Please wait. Bending ice, please wait. And you can also get water over there. And then there's my ice. They used to have the little things where you could seal them, but they don't have that anymore. 
and the guy that was in front of me, he left his bag of ice and said that I could have it. The ice machine must be popular because look, there's two more cars behind me waiting to get ice. And then my sister should be finished getting ready by now. I'm gonna take my day quill and then we are going to be heading to the beach, y'all. Oh, so I'm vlogging, just so you know. Don't worry about it. Okay, I forgot to go back through town and show y'all the little. I don't know. They were protesters, but what are those people called? What are those people called that um they standing outside holding the signs for their presidential? Is that what it's called? Oh, um, um, holding the signs for their presidential candidate. I don't know, cause it was a whole bunch of, you know, <laughs> and, but it was like maybe a little handful of ones holding the trunks, and then on the up, opposite side of the street, it was a, a whole slew of them holding the Biden-Harris. Um, they are campaigners. That's what they call it? I didn't know what, what the name of them was. I mean, they, they, uh, But I didn't know what was going on because I, cause I, when I left from the post office, I went down 301. I would say demonstrate. Oh, I'm trying to get. You know they say them things so loud? A Jeep? Yeah. Yep. You alright over there? Because you're going to speed him up. Why just getting up? I don't know. She's getting up. Oh. You ain't got and these bridges safe and people. you ain't gonna <laughs> no, be out there. Sorry, ain't nobody got you on here. myself running off of it. But it looks like it's only five dollars. <laughs> yeah, put this in your dash. Mm -hmm. huh. Yes, I am. Whoa, keep going. 
Nope, I got it. Yep. Say hi, guys. Y'all ain't gonna say hi? Hi, Mama. Right, Shay, your turn. So which direction are we going in? What? Which direction are we going in? Yeah, right, yeah. They keep going straight. So currently sitting under the umbrella. And they are as well. I don't think I'm gonna get in the water. Are you getting in the water? You decided yet? I don't know yet. Yeah, I heard that too. But it feels really nice out here, guys. No, not necessary. I got water at the house. Oh. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this breeze. It feels so good. I think that's the best feeling breeze to breathe off of water. Well, Mom, how's your first time at the beach? Hmm. That did not sound enthusiastic at all. There's quite a bit of people here. I'm gonna show y'all. You got somewhere you can get a group of people together, and you pilot it yourself. I don't know. I won't get out there in all that water. Don't be no fault, mom. Yeah, quite a bit of people. They have signs up everywhere that says, "Um, what does it say? Beach rules. Six Stay feet six feet apart. If you're not one family." And, yeah, if you don't live together, don't congregate, and no groups of 10, of 10 or more. So, yeah, and it was like permanent signs, <laughs> not just signs that was just put up. Yeah. Most likely going to be another six months or longer. It's so embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> So we are still at the beach. I have been under this umbrella the entire time. Yeah. I want to go out, maybe get in the water, but it's a lot of people out there. So I kind of don't. What are you doing? Can you put it your feet? My toes. Is it? You're weird. I don't care. It's cute. Mom. Okay, it's not so. So we had a good day at the beach. Throwing away trash now and getting ready to go. That's what, almost what, five o'clock? Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta, you gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Give me your bag. <laughs> got it. Did not get in the water, but I did take lots of pictures. Hey guys, so I didn't really finish out my vlog yesterday, um, but we had a really good time. We went to the beach and then afterwards we went and um got something to eat and came home and stuff so i didn't close out the vlog my bad sorry um but i just finished cleaning my bathroom and i'm just going to be doing some more cleaning today I'm about to do some laundry so i just wanted to continue the vlog today i had like 30 minutes so far but i'm gonna be cutting a lot of it down so soon as though i didn't close it out properly i was just like I'm going to finish and just continue my vlog today, which is Sunday. So that's what we're doing. So I just want to show y'all what I'm working with. Like, this is my room. This has, like, all of my stuff in it. And, like, right here, I have, my, like, my printer and stuff. And here I have lots of my stuff that I use for my business. And over here, there's more stuff that I use for my business. Then the rest of this is, like, clothes. This is my garbage that I'm getting ready to empty. So don't judge me. And all of this is, like clothes and stuff it's the she and stuff that i need to try on and film that video more clothes and i'm just um, look at this i'm laundry that i just did the other day my bed's not made it's just a whole lot a whole lot and i i feel so frustrated I feel so frustrated 
and it's like when like what I'm not good with clutter and so I gotta do something I gotta I'm about to go through all of this stuff well first I'm gonna take me a shower and I'm about to go through all of this stuff and get this room in order because I've been saying it for weeks and I like halfway do it and get it in order and then I just mess it all up again but we're not doing that I need to get this thing all the way in order so I'll be back and show y'all the end result of what I'm able to do it's kind of difficult because I'm working with such a small space Oh, look at my baby. She's a big girl now. All right, so that's it.